And I'm taking this. Sorry, Jason. You're not catching this ride, buddy. Muhahaha. All right, welcome back to Permadeath Pirates. This is Survival Bomb. We are in No Man's Sky, Permadeath. We are trying to make all the money through piracy and uh, maybe shoot Jason in the back of the head. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. The first two episodes were recorded on the same day. This one was recorded on Saturday afternoon after my live stream. Uh, and I think this corresponds basically to Jason's number seven in his playthrough. I'm not sure where he's at number wise now. I think I'm a little behind him, but we were both in the same place on the same day. And, uh, yeah. Well, anyway, let's get into the episode. I want to upgrade my multi-tool. I want to make some money. we got to do a few different things. I don't know if this is going to be episode two or three. We'll, we'll figure it out. But uh, we got no money. Uh, we need a better multi-tool. Uh, we need to uh, charge that, apparently. And, yeah. What is this? Hyperdrive module. Throw that in there. What is this doing in there? All right, there we go. So, um, there are a few more bases here. Uh, I see one over here. I saw one over here. Team Bob. We're going to go check out. Um, I think that is where... Jason's going? I don't know. i got to see if I can figure out where he's going now um i have just finished watching episode seven of jason's series and he still doesn't have a ship yet oh that's so sad you hate to see it but uh i don't see a base name on that hmm. all right so we're gonna do some low flying we're gonna be looking for targets of opportunity and uh, try to make some money. Now the great thing is this is this literally cost me nothing to fly because there's no fuel for just flying on planet. Uh, you have launch fuel and you have pulse drive fuel, but not just flying around fuel. It's free apparently, right? There's something. So we're just kind of flying low and slow. Well, kind of slow, low anyway, and hitting the scanner. What you got here. Bunch of nothing. Now, just to show you guys, um, uh, I am in uh, multiplayer. So, I don't happen to see anybody on the planet at the moment. So, that's good. But Jason is not in multiplayer, so we're going to have to figure that out. He says... It's because he doesn't want people to help him out. My suspicion is that it's because he doesn't want to get shot in the back of the head by Pirate Bob, the Dread Pirate Boberts. I still haven't decided if we want to be the Dread Pirate Boberts or Bob of the Hut. I don't like Bob of the Hut, to be honest. But the Dread Pirate Boberts is kind of fun. Catch a ride, Team Jason. Nice. Wait a minute. I thought I was heading a different. I thought I was heading towards Team Bob. Did I go the wrong direction? I did. But wait a minute. That says catch a ride, Team Jason. That might mean. Hmm. I wonder if there's a, a, a ship there. Let's go check it out. I'll tell you what, though, I am going to grab that oxygen. There's a bunch of it. And we may do some, uh, you know, combining oxygen with stuff to make the monies. So, free oxygen. Good to have. Especially like 400 or however much this is. Wow. Am 
We got like 750 oxygen now. Do I have any dihydrogen? No. Let's grab some of that. We'll get, maybe we'll get lucky and get another storm crystal. There's so much stuff here now. There's just, oh, there's somebody. Just saw somebody. I know that person. That's Mundalani. What's up, buddy? He doesn't know I'm here because I have my uh, marker turned off. So I'm not going to go take help from him. But I am going to go see what this deal is. Now, I am, you know, I, I, I do allow myself to go up into the atmosphere and pulse, but I'm also looking for stuff as I fly because I need resources, right? some free parking. We'll go ahead and take this. Hopefully that'll recharge. Oh, I don't have a terrain manipulator. I can't do anything here. Can I? I can see what I... Let's see, what happens here? You get stuff sometimes? Relog. Life goes on day after day, delivering. I hope to go home soon. The life of a is, is not one for me. Multiple Sentinel energy signatures detected require immediate dropping out of warp. Fighting each other, the Sentinels ships engaging each other, ignoring us for now. The Sentinels appear to have departed. Their distress signal nearby. Broadcasting 16 on repeat. I'm going to take a look. That was a mistake, brother. Is that it? Okay, I can't get anything out of these. Okay, good to know. Um, wait, I can't. There's not all of these are in ter are needing the terrain manipulator, right? There's a couple of them that are above ground. What does it want? Silica powder. <laughs> All right, well, we tried. No way to get silica powder that I'm aware of without a terrain manipulator. Um... Which way was I heading? Catch a ride. Yeah. I'm hoping that's a ship. Alright, who's that? Skulls 6. I don't know if he can... I don't think he can see me. Because my first night here, nobody really knew... Aha! What I was up to. But now... Cat's out of the bag. Hey, Sentinel. Is that the door? Yep. Alright, so... Let's get in the first person. I think I'm going to hotkey that.
nobody here but Pirate Bob. Pirate Bob, Pirate Bob. Stealing stuff is his job. See what we can do here. Um, that doesn't give me a word, right? That's just standing. Okay. My unauthorized intrusion has activated an alert on the control terminal. Its lights flash an angry, hostile red. Words. Security countermeasures have begun a full system wipe. I see file after file being purged from records. Force restart. Save data. Wait. Uh, force restart. Forcibly restart the system. After a short delay, the screen comes back to life. A trace of the security program has vanished. All trace of the security program has vanished, that is. Normal operations have been resumed. You know what? I mean, this might... Well, I can't go to the space station yet. we got to decide on that. Learn a new recipe. Alright, what should we learn? Hermetic seal? Atlas pass could be useful. Hmm. No, we're not going to be doing that anytime soon. I'm going to go with Hermetic Seal. And we'll go with uh, Microprocessor. Giggity. Alright. Grab the stuffs. Check our stocks. Search a bush. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate doing business with you. I think I saw something down here, actually. Hold on. This way. Didn't I? I think I saw something when I was... Yeah, I did. Is this a, I think this is the one that gives me the free ship, I think. Could be totally wrong. But it's free parking, so you might as well find out. What's up, Corvax? The electronic life form is agitated and perhaps in pain. Their body buzzes and small arcs of electricity jump between their mask and shoulders. They jolt and shake. They need help. Unknown Corvax entity. Mm -hmm. They reach out a hand as if they want to shake mine. I instinctively raise my arm in response, but common sense advises caution. Shake hands, pull back, leave. Um, all right, what would Pirate Bob do? He would not shake hands. Suck it. Sorry. I'm a pirate. That's what I do. I don't help. Are you going to give me something? Alright, well. Keep writhing in pain, little man. Yeah, I would help you, but I'm a pirate, you know? Oh, here we go. Automated distress signal. 720. Giggity, giggity. Now we're in the money. Now we're in the money. That's what I'm talking about. The Dread Pirates Boberts. The Dread Pirate Boberts? Yeah, that's it. My fleet. My fleet is beginning. That is the crash ship they marked. But it's mine now. All right, I need to... Whoa, that was freaky. All right, I need to get some um, copper so I can get some chromatic metal. 
so that I can get me an Atlas Pass. I'm full health, right? Let me just grab this, just in case. I don't remember. I've done so many saves lately, I forget which is which. Pretty sure this guy's pretty much a, a noob and doesn't have anything. Yep. Alright, well, let's go get our signal beacon that somebody else has marked. Where'd it go? Yeah, that's mine. Now, somebody else may have, may have it since we are in multiplayer. I don't know. We'll see what happens. That looks pretty close. What is that? Get all my stuff. Yep. Pretty sure I did. Yep. And rich carbon. Yeah, we got money now, boys. We're in it. Stealing stuff. Giggity. All right. Where is this dude? He's really close. I'm going to go this way. We'll find a few more of those. That would be nice. Drop pod. doing skulls pretty sure he's on foot actually because I'm not seeing a plane icon huh there's an abandoned building I'm not feeling brave enough right now though not in permadeath that now let's just go get this ship we're a minute away I really want to find a uh, another place to sell stuff now Dude, I took down a sentinel. I didn't even mean to. Communications tower. Like this. Pirate Bob, Pirate Bob. Uh oh. Wait. Okay, you're scanning that thing. Cool. I'm here to, um, I'm the maintenance man. Here to fix stuff. 
First thing I gotta do is uh, extract everything. Could be possible hazardous contamination and whatnot going on here. All right, let's see here. Facility rings with the blare of an alarm. However, it appears I am not the first intruder. The terminal displays indicated a previous hijacked attempt. Don't know any of those words. Strange shifting glyphs dance across the terminal's command prompt. Some alien code is taking over the system's archive. Quarantine alien process. Permit the alien process leave. Uh, I'm going to permit it. I tap out a few commands acknowledging but not removing the virus. There is a short, almost deliberate delay. Runes shift across the display. The terminal grants me root access to the facility. The alien cone resumes its harvesting operation. Yes. I will not get in another pirate's way of stealing. All right, so let's learn some more recipes. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get an Atlas Pass. Uh, oxygen capsule. Stabilize and secure life support filtration. Easily assembled oxygen and ferrite dust. Yeah, I I'm actually gonna I'm gonna learn that I think. Because I'm not gonna get cadmium. So there we go. Stocks. Anything else? I get everything in here. All right, maintenance man is done. You're welcome. I fixed everything. my signal here we go I imagine if we can't find a trade terminal someone's base will have one in there in it minor settlement would be great nothing all right here we come Somebody did build a base over it. <clears throat> and I'm taking this. Sorry, Jason. You're not catching this ride, buddy. Muhahaha. But if he's in uh if he's not in multiplayer, he'll be able to get it. But you know, if he was up for a challenge, he would be in multiplayer. And look, all the um all the stuff scrap. Thank you. Nothing. Nothing. All right, let's see if we can get something out of here. Emergency systems activated as I climb on board and a hologram appears before me. The lights in the mask it wears seem wide and dim. The pilot calmly reports news of, an, of its imminent, in, imminent, there we go, of its imminent demise. The noise of explosions and tearing metal can be heard. The hologram disappears, leaving an array of glittering technologies and devices behind it. Some of them look operational. Search for tunct functional technology. Functional technology. I scan a blueprint. I can now construct these advanced materials myself. Teleport receiver. What, what? All right, who's around? I got, I got somebody over there. Think there's anybody here? Let's go. Uh, let's go check this base out. 
see what uh, Team Jason's all about. Enjoy the hauler and good luck out there. Thank you, buddy. I will. It's very nice of you. Take all your carbon. Hold on. Um, before I go too far, I don't want my ship to disappear. Let me um, let me go trade ships. Let me deal with that real quick. All right, let's hop in here. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, there's no way I can sell this without going to space. So I'm going to have to go to space. Mm. Yeah, antimatter three. Thank you. All right, so... Hermetic seal metal plating. Let's fix that. Uh, I can't fix that. I don't want to fix that. It's got a butt ton of shields, though, doesn't it? Alright, now let's go ahead and grab this. So this is our primary again. And then let's swap out some materials. Um, look at all this carbon I got. Way too much carbon. I need some oxygen, actually. Mm, oh, I have some. Okay, sweet. Let's get this. Hydrogen. Really? Oh, there it is. All right, so let's put that in my ship, that in my ship. Um... What else? Antimatter can go in there. Just get that out of there with that. Okay. Feeling good. That's Bob's ship now. I appreciate all the exocrafts left here, too. Very nice. Alright, I don't need any more carbon that I can think of. Are you kidding me? A signal booster? Oh, I can't use it? That's unfortunate. Can't take it either. I can save. You know what? I am going to get all this carbon. Because that's what pirates do. Alright, none of this stuff is uh, worthwhile. I think I saw. Yeah, here's the refiner. So I'm just going to make all this condensed carbon. Leave that running. Go see what else we got up here. In this fancy schmancy base. Base computer. Teleporter. Can we go anywhere? We can go everywhere. Oh, we can go to all the bases. We can't go to space. Oh, heck yeah. All right, Team Bob, ZT's base. Uh, whatever that says. Jason's resource, curbside pickup. I like that. Uh, catch a ride. No name. Antimatter settlement. 
Okay, I bet you somebody built an antimatter reactor there. Minor settlement, Jason. Thank you. Freighter. Settlement. Overlook. Trading post. You people. You people. <laughs> Excellent. What's this way? Archive over the hill. Thanks, bro. You grab some stuff. Nice base here. I like what you've done with the place. Truly. Yeah, what's it matter? All right. Um, we want to go up. there. I should have grabbed one of those exocraft. I'll be able to call my ship over with nav data so I'm not sweating it. In case you're wondering. I'm really looking for another upgrade. That's why I keep going for these things. Come on, upgrade. Starship launch fuel. Nope. Only Jason finds those, huh? Alright. It's all good. What's up? <laughs> Pirate Bob dropping in. Multiple ships. Getting frisky with each other. I'll get out of here. There we go. All right, talk to some people, learn some stuff, do the things. All right, uh, give me some words, please. Um, let's go with a travel symbol. Where? Yep. No idea, buddy. No idea. All right, and then let's practice our language skills. Uh, knowledge. Thank you. Yeah, they're just standing out in the radiation, huh? Alright. You do you. Technology. I learned the word technology. Let's say technology. Hmm, let's go with uh, Researcher. Look at this, everybody likes me here. Convergence. All right, what else we got? Uh, let's go with Research. Thank you. Awesome. That's awesome. Hmm. 
We shared a deep moment of understanding, him and I. What's up, buddy? I'm stretching it out. I'm stretching it out. Uh huh. Can you teach me some words, please? Uh, how about a uh, technology symbol? Experiment. All right. Picking up what you're putting down. What else you got? Um, how about I say it back to you? <laughs> uh, the plasma launcher. We can make that. We just have to go break in and learn amino chamber. These Corvax are obviously on my team, giving me help. Uh, experiment trade wear traveler. Um, let's go with experiment. Thank you. I'm pretty sure I can do it more than once, right? Wear trade convergence. Where? Thank you for the navigational data. What's up with you, buddy? Can we talk? And boy, the Merchant's Guild. They don't seem interested in me, huh? But you three. There's a ton of guys here. Uh, I don't have a science terminal, buddy. Sorry. I don't even have a house. Sorry. I would. But uh, I'm a pirate, you see. Oh, we got twinsies here, huh? Milestone. Student. Now we're talking. Oh shit, I need some more uh, ferrite dust. No! You're supposed to go look at what I'm shooting! We're gonna hide. Sentinels suck, man. Dun, 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 dun. All right, that's my ship. All right, is there like a place I can stand where it will not fall? How about here? Dude, you just landed on my ship. Mm-hmm. 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 
See, we raid the Sentinel Depot, and then we refine the goods so they don't know it was us. All right, what else we got? Just the Magna Gold. Up, dude have I talked to you yet uh, purchase components you sell good stuff it's not the worst wire loom price I've seen what's your uh, what are you gonna give me on this silver negative six what about um ooh enriched carbon you're gonna get plus 35 uh, yeah you can have it don't ask where I got it from, though. Okay. Gold is negative 7.2. All right, let's check over here. All right, negative 17. Negative 13. Okay, so that guy's giving me a much better price on stuff. You're my friend. Hey, friend. Yep. Sell. Have that silver. And have the gold. It's a successful raid. We got 1.2 million out of it. Well, probably not quite that much, but a little over a million out of it. Take that, right? And we can start go getting drop pods now that we have the antimatter. Really need to get some. Uh, shields though what do you sell blueprints wise see i've already learned these two for free um i'm good i don't need that yeah let's just get these I need some copper. Do you sell copper? I sell sodium. Drop pod coordinate data. Interesting. Okay. And we can find our way back here, no problem. Sodium nitrate. We'll take all of that because we're going to need it for the drop pods. Um, that's really it, huh? I really don't want to buy the data yet. All right, anything else I can do here? Look at all these words I know. Archive access granted. Breaking into an archive. Let's decrypt it. The archive requires me to place my body against its sensors. Begins whispering. It begins to whisper of what the Corvax might once have been. Mmm, sexy. Ew, growth and life are words. Stars and worlds are machines. The Atlas teaches this. The Sentinels deliver the equation. That shit does that mean? The Atlas interface uplifted the early civilizations of the universe. We became more than we were. Hypothesis one. The Corvax were once organic. We gradually slash rapidly altered our beings. We uploaded slash improved our own minds. This was our choice slash was forced upon us. Okay, so these are all choices. Okay. Hypothesis two. 
The Corvax have always been machines. We evolved from the noise of stars. We were created through the Atlas Imperative. We were once as Sentinels. We learned from the Sentinels. Hypothesis 3. There is no cause, no effect, no time. To impose it is to misunderstand the sadness of the Atlas. We are the dreams of metal. I'm going to go with 3. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We're going to go ahead and end it off here. This is Survival Bob saying if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it. And uh, if you're going to if you're gonna play Permadeath, do it in multiplayer. Come on, Jason. You know you want to. Don't be scared. Well, be scared, but do it anyway. It'll be fun. It'll be fine. <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. Take care.